it's your girl here, Tammy C. Walker, the owner of Dreams Are Reality. How you all doing? Of course, I created this channel to provide light love. Thank you, everybody who's been subscribing. Um, my channel is growing fast, and I just want to always shout out you all for jumping in and subscribing and enjoying the content I'm providing. I, I'm a big relationship type person. I am a licensed social worker and therapist, but in conjunction with that, I believe in love. So that's why I've been pumping out these videos about relationships. Um, as a therapist, we see this a lot. You know, this is a big part of our practice, working with couples, working with individuals who want to get married, who want to be healthier mentally, who want to have successful relationships. So that's why I'm doing all this talk about this. This channel is about dreams are reality. You can have everything you want. You can have the home of your dreams. You can have the business. Your finances can improve. To me, most important, and I stand on this 10 toes down, you want to get that mental correct. Get your mental health in order as well as your physical because if you can't, function well mentally or physically, you can't even have a healthy relationship. I gotta jump in because I gotta get to work, you all. I woke up early to do this video for you all. I mostly do my videos in the evening time. I'm more of a night owl, but I do wanna keep the trend going. Let's talk about what men like in a woman or what they respect more or less in a woman. I've been on the subject of women being desperate. I speak about that because it is hard to watch, it's hard to hear, it's hard to see. I follow Tony Gaskins, G-A-S-K-I-N-S. -S. I know you are familiar with him. He is amazing. And R.C. Blake. So ladies, jump on their channels and get their perspective. It is a Christian perspective. Both are, but um, Tony going to give it to you straight up. No chaser. R.C. Blake, so um, he's a little bit older. So, um... I would get on there if I wanted to improve my, you know, self as a woman seeking or waiting in our case for uh, a good man. So what men really do respect is a woman that can walk away, a woman that has boundaries. Tony Gaskins, he spoke about this in one of his videos. He was a 19 year old young guy and he was in corporate. Now, if you know anything about Tony, he was, you know, a little more streetish, and he changed. You know, he converted his life. He changed. He's been married now 17 years. He'll tell you that. But as a 19-year-old in corporate, he said a 35, 34-year-old woman put a note in his hand, and the note said, I want to F you. You all know, fill in the blanks. So those type of women... Men don't like that. Men don't like that. Now, define man. I'm not talking about a whorish man, because that's a whorish woman. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about, I'm talking about a healthy, mature man that wants something serious and sincere. He don't want the lady throwing her, you know what, around. It's just scary. So... My philosophy on that type of stuff, so I'll give you a couple of things. Some women will be like, I don't see nothing wrong with it. It's not the 70s. We liberated. So, liberated lady, I'm not here to judge. Can't judge. If that's what you do, sleep around. Be the best you can be. What somebody tell my friend many years ago? She said, what you do for a living? My friend, she used to um, do hair. She, she's a business owner hairstylist, um, and she said she met this lady. What do you do? That's what she asked the lady, because they were just talking. She said, baby, I'm a prostitute and a crackhead. Ain't no need of me lying to you. So if you want to be that lady that's sleeping around, be the best Be the best you can be. But I'm speaking to today the ladies that really want a sincere and healthy relationship. Do not write out notes and put that in a man's hand. That's tacky and tired. And for the record, syphilis is on the rise. I'm not talking about 20 year olds either. 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 year olds. Syphilis and those type of diseases 
are big in senior homes, senior citizen homes. They're having a lot of sex, you know? Believe it or not, don't think because people 60, 70, 80, no sex is going on. It is, trust and believe. So if it's a guy in the home and he's real, very popular, he's sleeping with multiple ladies in the senior home. It happens, so stop. We gotta stop thinking over here or nothing's going on. This stuff applies to older people too. Men do not want the lady that sleeps around. And I know you probably be like, why are you saying that? We know that you'd be, you be shocked. You would be shocked, no you wouldn't, of the stuff that goes on because it's desperation. A man respects a woman that can say, no, you know, you just started talking to the guy. He's already trying to get you in the bed and you're like, no, I'm not about that. Damn, they're gonna respect you. I'm not saying, you're gonna end up with this guy, you're gonna sell him to the sunset. What I'm saying is, it's really not about that. It's about you. It's always about you, ladies. It's never it's never about a guy. Ultimately, it's about you, your boundaries, and your values. And that's what we're lacking because the desperation is kicking in. And what makes you the expert, Tammy? How do you know all this? I'm older, I'm a lady, I know how I am when I want something or when I get emotional. I can try to manipulate things. I can try to control a situation. I'm a, a strong woman, you know, and we don't need to say that all the time, but I am, and I'm an independent woman. So I can make things happen in a lot of ways, just like you can, just like my guys can that's watching. But when it comes to relationships, that's the area where we don't want to manipulate, we don't want to coerce, we don't want to use our body to get a man. That's manipulation and that's controlling the situation in a way that's not sustainable at times. Yes, there are some women and men that have had one night stands and they end up married. You know, they did it on the first, let me rephrase, they did it on the first date, they ended up married. I'm not saying that, but how many times do you want to do that and hope hope that happens because a good man a real man talk to them i'm not talking about you dating or nothing your brother your uncle good men your dad your friend that's a man talk to them they don't want no loose woman they're going to tell you i have asked men i have said would you like a lady that pursued you and that ran the show, tried to, you know, hey, you so fine. They said, no, I wouldn't like that. That would be uncomfortable for me. I ask. I didn't ask no man. Well, one was somebody I was with, but I asked multiple men. They said they don't like it. So what am I trying to say? Men respect ladies with boundaries. They're going to respect the lady that walks away after the man curses at you and raises his voice. You're like, uh-uh, I don't play that. They're gonna, they may never tell you. They're going to respect you. In their mind, they are going to say, you know what, that's a lady that respects herself. And although it didn't work out, I have respect for her. Well, I should say, we are good, good, but we still good. I might have messed up this song, I like that song. He said, although we didn't end up together, we probably never getting back together. I need to leave it alone because I don't know lyrics real good, but I like that song because you may not end up with the guy, but you still good, and we still good, whatever he's saying. Oh, shit. Say it. You say it best. best. But um, I might be a little rambly. I'm not a morning person. Um, but I, I trust me. Trust me. What I'm saying holds true. Let me tell you a, story, a little story. I got a lot of stories. Somebody very cool with me was in a long-term relationship. They were dating. And I would say periodically, hey, when you gonna marry this girl? Because I noticed they lived together. She had the ring for a while. When are you gonna marry this girl? Oh, Tammy, I don't even wanna talk about it. You know, arrogant about it, the guy was. I don't even wanna talk about it because she be bugging me. Oh, he he he, he big and bad, you all, because he was running that show. All of a sudden, she pulled back, started talking to somebody else. He got wind of it. They were married within four months, five months from the conversation we had. Fast forward, baby. They they got they were they married. 
to this day they are married because he was running the show he was talking stuff but when she was like you know what it's other people out here it's other fish in the sea i'm out you know in a, in a way she didn't leave but she started behaving differently and he panicked so you gotta have boundaries it's not only for your relationships i tell people this a lot where you live my apartment I pay, you know, decent money. I think anybody does now. Mostly rent is high. But one thing I love about this apartment, if I have something malfunctioning in here, I told the story about my air conditioner in 2023. You put it in on the computer. You send in a work order. Within a day, they're usually here fixing it. My air conditioner, it wasn't working my unit. And I have central air here. And I put in my ticket on that Sunday. It was an evening, Sunday evening. I called emergency and they were like, um, we're gonna have somebody out. That, no, they came out that day and looked at it. And he said, your unit is leaking free on from the outside. Somebody will be here to fix it. And they came Tuesday with a brand new unit. You know, HVAC units, that stuff is like $5,000 up. But that's why I live here, boundaries. I don't want to live somewhere and I'm paying my rent and they are not treating me well. I don't want to go to a doctor where they're rude. I don't want to go to a dentist where they're rude. That happened, not the dentist, but his office staff. I'm not going there. Boundaries. That's why I'm saying all that. Boundaries. Same with your relationship. You want to be treated well. And if you feel like you're not there yet, you, you, feel, you feel desperate. Like, I just want a man. I, I don't have good boundaries. Self-love workbook. You are already put that up there in my other video, self-love workbook. You got to love yourself before you can partner with somebody else. I got some more videos to do because I've been studying the desperation of women and, well, you know, what makes people this way? And I just want to help. So I got to close, but I'll be back with more videos pertaining to this type of stuff. What do you think about what I said? In the body of my video, I will put my schedule. I'm opening up some slots for some relationship coaching is needed. Um, as you all know, a counselor by day with my youth therapist in the evening and on Saturdays. And I want to add in some relationship coaching to help you all. It'll be via Zoom. I had a link there in my video. Just click on it and schedule your appointment, okay? And the price will be in the link as well. So um, what you think about what I said? Drop me comments, hit that like, share, all the other good stuff. Thank you all. I got to get out of here and make that, make that mutsy, hutty. <laughs> have a beautiful day. Keep your boundaries up. And if you don't have any, start with some today. Tammy C. Walker. Bye-bye.